Hey there, Bronco Carl 92 here. So for this video, I'm going to be doing a review for another Autel scanner. This one's called the Diag Link. It is an OBD2 scanner. It also has the ability to reset oil service light and electronic parking brake. So let's uh, get you set up and uh, show you what we have. Okay, so here is our Autel uh, diagnostic tool called Diag Link. Um, it does uh, EPB, electric parking brake, and oil, uh, oil service reset, and it's also a CAN OBD2 scanner. So let's put this up. And it comes in this nice added case. So we have USB cable. OBD cable, scanner, and software installation guide, a user manual, and the PC suite. Okay, so I'll uh, open this all up and get us hooked up to a computer, and I'm going to show you how to upload the software to it. Okay, so my computer doesn't have a CD drive, so I went to the Autel website and I downloaded the uh, PC Suite. Okay, before we get started with the update process, we actually have to register this with Autel. So you go to the Autel website and it'll ask you for some information. So we're going to go to the setup screen. And you're going to go to the about screen. And right here it gives you the product serial number and the registration password. You put those into some fields at the registration page along with your personal information and then they'll give you the access to the software. So let's go ahead now and update this thing. And I've opened it up. Um, I have the unit connected to the computer right now but it doesn't see it. So what you need to do for it to see it is you need to go to the update screen and it'll give you this picture here now it activates the, the uh, port and now you can put this down you don't have to do anything with it um, it's asking me if I want to scan and fix um, no this is talking about the card that's inside so once you're connected um, it'll bring you to this screen um, actually, I ran through this already and installed the software, but the initial time you hook up, uh, it gives you the choice of one free software um, manufacturer, and then if you want additional ones, you need to pay for them. So actually, I selected BMW because we had a BMW to work on, and you know, we'll have uh, some, some footage of that. So anyway, um, if you scroll down, you'll see that they show... Is this working here? Okay, here we go. So um, you can Ford and Mazda. You can purchase that. Renault, Smart Car, Sprinter, Opal, Peugeot, Porsche, Volvo, Jaguar, Land Rover, Fiat Alpha, Toyota. Do we cover here? Nissan, Acura, Hyundai, Mitsubishi, Subaru. You kind of get the idea. So let's go back to the top here. So what I did was I actually I downloaded the BMW software and I uninstalled it. So it's very easy. Um, this would actually just say purchase. So you hit update. And it's going to download the software. And you can see now it's already installing the software as well. Right now it's doing the oil reset for BMW. Okay, we're still installing. The whole process takes about uh, five to six minutes. Once this is finished, uh, we'll put you back on. Okay, so the installation process is now completed. Um, I could also mention that 
if you don't want to plug the unit into your computer, there's a little SD card right here, some micro SD card. You can remove that and put it in an adapter and just slide that into the side of the computer if you have a SD card slot and uh, just update it right from that. Okay, so you can see we have a yellow car and we have service due in 2100 miles. We also have an admissions inspection that's due next month. And a state inspection. Now the state inspection and the emissions inspection can be reset right in the car just by here. But the car hasn't been inspected yet so we're going to leave those alone. This car is getting inspected I think in a couple of days. Um, the engine oil however we can reset with our tool. Okay so if we go into our menu here we're going to select oil reset and BMW and OK and this is in 745i 7 series E65 and we're going to reset the engine oil and that says reset with tool, reset without tool reset without tool So it shows the VIN number. Previous. Escape. Reset without tool. Finish. Do you want to save and continue? Yes. It tells you instructions on how to do it with the instrument cluster. Well, you can Google that, but if you have this tool, it makes it just much easier by reset with tool, engine oil reset. It shows that the available is 42% and the service counter is at 9. So we're going to hit reset. It's resetting. But our information display still says 2100 miles. So let's go back to here now. And now it says 15,000 miles. Vehicle check 27,000 miles. Microfilter, 14,000. Front brakes, 14,000. Brake fluid, 11 months. Okay, so we're all good. You can also reset the spark plugs, the front brakes, the rear brakes, the brake fluid, the microfilter, the vehicle inspection, and the exhaust emission inspection. So, like I said, we're not going to bother doing the inspections because that has to be done by the state. And then we can just do that in the, um, in the information display. So, that's that. We're going to enter the, we're going to exit the diagnostic system. And we're going to escape again. We're going to go to the main menu and we're going to hit the OBD it's linking to the vehicle okay so the system status of the mill is off, there's zero codes, all the monitors are okay. There's not anything to do here, I don't think. Let's see here. There's no code stored in the module. Pending codes. 
There's no pending codes. So we can also look at all the live data freeze frame, um, just like we can do with all the other Autel scanners. We're going to exit. So this also has electronic parking brake, but this car doesn't actually have the electronic parking brake in the calipers. It actually has it inside the rear brake drum that's inside the rear rotor. So we'll find another vehicle to check that system on. Okay, so to do the parking brake, I've borrowed an X5 from a friend of mine. Um, we're not actually going to change the, the brakes on this thing because it doesn't need brakes, but we can run through the procedure of releasing the caliper so you can do the rear brakes. So, I select EPB, BMW. Okay, the ignition is off. Now we have to turn it on. Okay. And if you actually scroll backwards, you can get to X series without going through the whole menu. And this car is an F15. Parking brake. Engine off, ignition on, that's what we have. Okay, the workshop mode. Oh, sorry, hit OK. Okay, following conditions must be met in order to teach the installation position. Ignition turned on, vehicle stationary, parking brake released. Next step. Parking brake is moved to the installation and the mounting mode is activated. Time of approximately five seconds is needed to reach, to reach the installation position. Note the EMF button is deactivated when... Well, assembly mode is activated the parking brake function with the EMF button. Is not available in this case to deactivate the installation mode. The parking brake must be started up. Okay. Installation position of the brake caliper actuator reached. Assembly mode is activated. Switch off ignition, make the repairs, and then we have to do the startup position. So Okay, that service function is finished. Now we have to do the startup procedure. The parking brake is started up using the service function. The parking brake is started up by repeatedly pressing and releasing the parking brake by activating the parking brake button. Startup must be conducted in the following cases. After replacing EF control unit, after replacing Bowden cable assemblies, after replacing parking brake cable button, after replacing brake caliper or brake parts of the rear axle. The ignition must be switched on during startup. I'm reading upside down, so it's a little difficult. Installation mode is deactivated at the beginning of the startup procedure. Okay. The parking brake must be pressed at the beginning of the startup procedure to do this. Activate the foot brake. And press the parking brake button. Releasing of the parking brakes. Approximately three sections is audible. Set the parking brake. Pull the parking button and wait. Okay, I heard the brake activate. Release the parking brake again. Step by stepping on the brake and pushing the button. Okay, it's been started up. So basically after this you just have to bed in the brakes and we're good. Service function finished.
And that's it. All right, so that's the Autel Diaglink uh, OBD2 scan tool that does uh, parking brake reset and oil service reset. Um, I kind of like the Autel tools. So that's the second one I've reviewed, and I seem to be um, pretty satisfied with the way they work, the ease of use, uh, the ease of updating, and um, the ease of functions. So anyhow, um, you can check them out on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description. As always, thanks for watching Bronco Carl 92, and we'll see you again soon. Take care.